everyone okay? I'd be seeing stars if I could see anything at all. Yeah, this ain't good. So, about all them futures where we die. Has he always been able to do that? He says he don't like showing off. Thanks, buddy. No, I don't gotta tell him. Ooh, right. The thing that you tell us in the dark. It's really important. No, it ain't. Shut up. You're among friends, Rocket. It's nothing, okay? Just... The lab I was in did tests on me in tubes of water. And it sucked. It really, really sucked. Sensory deprivation experiments on Half-World. I heard of those. Sensory deprivation was like a vacation compared to the other things. And that's why you hate getting wet. Clark. I had no idea. Don't make a big deal out of it. Just prefer to keep dry is all. So how long do we gotta wander around smashing our shins on rocks? Imagine it's a metaphor. You're in the physical darkness, and that reflects Green Meanie's mind. We can double back along Groot's path, and then try to find the exit. Groot says stay close to him. At least you'll be able to see. Parking visor! It ain't a flashlight, Will. Remember back in the dark in the quarantine zone? I thought that was some funky energy thing. Funky energy in the dark. Groot's bioluminescence ain't exactly on the defined light spectrum. Sure, that's the right way, Peter. I'm sure that it's not, but let's not tell Star Guy. He needs to learn for himself. I can hear you. Even better. else getting really fed up with little Miss Cryptic? Pretty? Eh, give me a break. At least it seems less dark through here, and less wet. Works for me. Mantis, anything in particular we should be looking out for? I'm trying to remember. I think this is where it gets loopy. Uh, there's that creepy fog again. It's always here. Always. Until it is. What's that supposed to... I don't... More Hellraisers. Wait, yeah. But it ain't those Flarknards. It's them creepy eyeball things from the QC. I'm definitely hearing Hellraisers. Then you ain't hearing right. It's eyeball things. I can't tell. It's not clear. Well, it's clear to me. Moore's gotta be right. We already know Hellbender's goons tracked us here. has a mind of its own. Not mind. Force. Anyone else getting deja vu? It all looks the same with this fog. Well, it don't sound the same. It's them jelly things from Seknar. That explains Stumpy's cousin. No, it's Novacore. I hear voices. How can you not tell the difference between monsters and people? It's not that. We're clearly hearing different things. It's definitely those jellies from Seknarf. I can hear their spiky things shooting out. What do you know? Rocket strikes! Hey, 
I was right too. That pretty much sums it up. At least there's a way out now, I guess. Can we go back? I'm not even sure we're back with Lee. Okay, now that's them bouncing eyeballs from the QC. No question. I'm not doing this. Something is clearly messing with us. Shatari? Okay, well, that's just wrong. You're worse than her. Those overgrown lizards make clicky sounds. You got moss in your ears. I hate to say it, I mean, I really hate to say it, but it does sound like those squishy eyeball things. Okay, I'm officially tired of being right. Even when we're right, we're wrong. Keep them busy, group! I'm keeping this go. Calls and we answer. We can't keep doing this. What are we supposed to do? Ignore it? This isn't right. It can't be real. It sure felt real when we were fighting them. It's the fog. They're just sounds. And it's just a coincidence they sound like all the flark and scut bags that have tried to kill us recently. Shh. What do you mean, shh? Serve us right. Shh. And about what? Shh. There's a new way out. So it was nothing. I think it depends. It's got something to do with the freaky fog. Every time you name an enemy, it has the power to make that enemy appear. So the key all along was to keep quiet? Yeah, like that is a... I saw so many versions of us fighting so many different things. With the sword, it's not done with us yet, Guardians. Yeah, well, let's just keep our eyes open and our mouths shut from now on. The fog entity has retreated for now. There's no immediate risk. Yeah, no offense, Bug Lady, but nothing you say means anything anymore. So the fog is an entity now? Yes! Sort of. Obviously, if some fog monster's trying to kill us, it means we're getting closer to whatever it is we're looking for. That kind of makes sense. And if this fog monster can make bad things appear, maybe the opposite is true. Like if we all say cure Drax, maybe that's what we've been looking for the whole time. I wish, Star Guy, but no. The one time she gives a definite answer. Possible timeline, we all get smushed. Great! Let me guess. Further down? Only if you want to save that and the whole galaxy. Let me get back to you. Okay, okay. Look, guys, um, <clears throat> I appreciate what you all did for me back there with the water thing, um, but following the bug lady any deeper is officially stupid. Rocket. No. Fog monsters? Cave pigs? Wet waterfalls? Technically, all water... No, no, Quill. She doesn't know where we are. She doesn't know where we're going. She doesn't know what we're looking for! Mantis, are we hot or cold? Room temperature. Okay, <gasps> okay! This is crazy. She is probably crazy. It's not about her. It's about us. I am super proud of us. Because we have never gone this far for anything before. Oh, this is the one where you inspire them. Just think about who we were when we started. Um... Well, you were a two-bit broke pirate who couldn't even outrun a tree. Exactly! And you were a two-bit bounty hunter. 
just as broke as me, just as depraved, self-centered, mindlessly chasing every unit, bar, contract, bank to rob. I still like many of those things. So do I. But none of those things are why we're here now, right? You're down here kicking ass for Drax. Not Drax the Destroyer, not Drax the Rampaging Criminal. Drax, man! My friend. Hey, Gamora. You've gone to the ends of the galaxy to hunt people, to hurt people. To get revenge in what I can only assume are some excruciatingly painful ways. But doesn't this feel kind of good? Going this far to help someone you care about? Oh, it feels so good. And Groot. Uh, he says you don't have to. No, no, I do. Because we all need to learn something from you, man. You never complain. Or if you do, I don't catch it, but I, I, I'm pretty sure you probably definitely don't. You're always there for us. And that's what this is about. Us. Growing together as a team, following a crazy lady into a death cave because one of us needs help. Because we are a team. Help, we're a family. We're the fucking guardians of the galaxy. Yay! Really great speech, Will. Why didn't anyone stop me?
Check it out. <laughs> Still not dead. <laughs> I can't believe you did that for us. Hey, a friend needed help. Bunch of them. Rocket, man. Hey. Can we please just save Drax already? Warm? Very, very warm. I think she wants us to jump in the hole. I may not know what we're looking for, but I know it's down there. Okay, let's finish this, because I sure as Flark didn't get all wet for nothing. Something sad and sulking, licking lingering wounds. If it's here. He's totally gonna feed us something awful down here. I know it. Should we expect a fight? Probably. You guys aren't very good at the whole de-escalation thing. Doesn't matter what's down here. If it can bring us back our grumpy Catathian, I'm all in. And the rest of you should be too. Come on, guys. We're the freaking guardians of the galaxy. Um... Is that supposed to be me? I heard you make that speech so many times, and then Gamora says something like, We're going to need Drax? Uh-huh. And then Little Fuzzy says, Nope, I ain't playing this game. And then Little Fuzzy usually says, If I get eaten, I'm gonna be real pissed, Quill. We're here. Home of the healing light. Source of the cure. Origin of Raker's power. It's... A cocoon? Told you she was gonna feed us to some giant bug. Or maybe she's the bug, and that's some Oh, gross! Please tell me Drax is the only one who's gotta go in that creepy egg sack. So the shepherds found fresh flock. Followers. Think fast, beard butt! How the... You know not the gravity of your treacherous trespass! Not quell a god. <laughs> Prepare for oblivion, interloper. Oh, what's this one? Okay, Green Mini, you're up. <sighs> Found you. Nasty uglies from that busted noggin of yours. It's okay, guys, it's him! Aaron Witchcraft! No, wait, Aiden Warsock! Ashley Warsock? Adam Warlock? That's it! The Golden God guy! Hold on. This guy's Raker's old divine whatever? Looks pretty good for a dead guy. Were you not sent by the sanctimonious shepherd? Us? With Raker? Not a chance. We're trying to shut his ass down. See? Friends. Okay, big guy. And we go. Come on! All the ones where we die already happened. Ugh. 
Raker's got half the galaxy going cuckoo bananas. Her friend included. I swapped your ass for a newer, younger, blue-skinned model. So... Can you help us? Mantis seems to think you can cure Drax. My heavenly healing is veiled malignance. A first folly I swore never to repeat. Ugh, can someone translate this guy? He said no. What protection I can proffer is to remain reclusive. Not this time, Goldie. The pieces need to go back together. We just gotta get you all closer to the puzzle. And that would be... In here, of course. Whoa, wait, let, let's talk about... <laughs>